Hi, I'm Aaron, and today I'm going to be making a traditional Cornish pasty for Family Recipes Unfolded with my grandma. Give him a wave. Hi, it's me. First, we need our pastry. If you're making it yourself, add half margarine and half lard to twice as much flour and mix it all together until it makes a nice dough. Next, skirt steak, chopped up into small chunks, and an onion, finely diced. You'll also need a turnip, peeled and flaked. You can do this using a knife, but it's easier with a peeler. Finally, you've got your potatoes, peeled and ready to go. You'll be flaking these with the peeler too, but don't do it yet. You'll also need a bit of flour and a drop of milk later on. We floured the board and we now start rolling, making into some sort of circular shape. Roll until your pastry is thin enough, fold your pastry over and use the rolling pin to make a wall. From there you start to fill. Put half of your four ounces of skirt, then put a layer of onion, you then put your flaked turnip, next you put on your flaked potato, you then put the rest of your meat, you then pepper and salt it, good pinch of flour, and then a little lob of butter. Wet the edges with milk, fold over, squeeze the edges, put your pasty into a a pasty shape. Cut your pastry around in a circle and you start to crimp. With your thumb and first finger, bend that in towards the pasty and bring the next one over so that you're making a pleat. You then make sure that the crimp is on the top. Devnish people have the crimp at the side but not Cornish. You're now ready for the oven. Now before it goes in the oven, you milk the top. It now goes in the oven for an hour on 200. Now my beauties. After an hour, take them out. It's easy to see when they're ready, as they should be hard and golden brown all over. <laughs> Whoa, look at that! To enjoy them the proper way, pop them in a paper bag and take them to the coast. It's the only place that can do a homemade Cornish pasty justice. <laughs>